Thank you. Okay, welcome everyone to the Doylestown Township <coughs> Pension Advisory Committee, um, Monday, July 12th, 2021. Um, I know we have a guest here, so I'll be the appropriate to uh, go around the room. So we'll actually start with our guest and introduce ourselves. Uh, Kevin Crook, I live in uh, Yardley, been there since 1984. I'm with Raymond James, I work out of the Newtown office. Been in investments since uh, the 80s, 83, uh, most of that in New York, and now um, that was all institutional, and now I'm on the advisory side of the table. So working with individual clients where I used to work with pensions and endowments and foundations. Great, well, thanks for coming. Aaron, thanks for having me. I'm Aaron Walliser, Special Products Coordinator here at the Township. Colleen? I'm Colleen Mullen, I'm a member of the Pension Advisory Committee. I work in financial services and um, also member of Ways and Means. So. Ken Wallace, finance director for the township. Uh, Sinclair Salisbury, I'm the uh, admin employee representative on the pension. Yeah, yeah, we met. Yeah, we have. Nice to see you. And I'm Bill McCrisky, I'm on the police uniform. Kind side of figured that with the sidearm. <laughs> <So, laughs> <laughs> I'm on duty at the moment, so yes. <laughs> I'm Jen Herring. I'm a Doylestown Township Supervisor and co-liaison on the uh, Pension Advisory Committee. I'm also on the Means and uh, Ed Denton. I'm on the uh, Pension Advisory Committee. I'm retired from Merck. I worked at Finance for, at Merck for 28 years. Oh, wow. uh, this is my retirement hobby. <laughs> um, I'm Stephanie Mason. I'm the Township Manager. Okay. We spoke on the phone. I'm Nancy Sanders I'm a township supervisor as well, and uh, also on quite a few committees and good affiliated on with Jen. Great, thank you. And what about Bob? Oh, screen. Oh, Joe. I'm sorry. The Bob. The Bob Salnick, I'm a retired school business administrator, and I'm on pension and ways and means committee. All right, so Bob, don't, don't be shy about speaking up here because uh, we, we may forget about you up in the corner. Yeah, Ed, you know me, I'm very shy. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the prior approval of the prior meeting minutes. Any, uh, any edits or additions? Um, the only one I had in my head was um, ISP, it's IPS. It was at the very end of the, it was just the letters were transposed. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Uh, I, I got one addition. Is um, we talked about having like a subcommittee to kind of lead the charge on um, mm -hmm. on uh, you know the the uh, the submissions and things like that. And that subcommittee, so we probably should put the who's on that subcommittee in the minutes. So I, according to my notes, I had uh, Jen's on it, Nancy's on it, I'm on it, Tom's on it. Colleen's on it and Aaron's on it. There's six of us in total. Okay, anything else? So a motion to approve. So moved. Colleen. Second. Second. Oh. Sinclair. All in favor, raise your hand. Okay, any opposed? Okay. All business, um, finalizing the RFP, in, you know, including everything in it and the timeline. Any, everyone had a chance to take a look at it? Any thoughts or comments? Um, all right, so the, the only thought or comment I have is, um, is uh, let's say for example, this is a question maybe for um, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Is um, let's say for example we put the RFP out and uh, we're not happy that we got enough people to bid on it. Are we locked into the timeline, or can we vote to extend it? How does this you would have to reject the submissions received and re. But, you know, we put it out there. It's a little different because you have, it's an RFP, it's not a bid, right. per se. 
um, you're requesting, it's a request for proposals. So, you know, let's say you only got one, you know, you might be like, we want to, you, and it would have to go through the Board of Supervisors. They're the ones who can accept, not this board, but the Board of Supervisors has to be the ones who accept or reject the proposals. To, to uh, end and resubmit the you'd have to reissue. You'd have to reissue it. You'd is there, any, is there, is there is. any cost on um, issuing and reissuing and mm -hmm. things like that? No, because you can, um, we can put it on pended, we can put it out um, to, you know, if there are companies and stuff, it's a request for proposals. So you can target okay. um, the folks that you wanna, you know, you can go to the yellow pages and say, these are the folks we wanna target and, and then how would, how would that work? If we want to target, for example, we had a list of targets. How would if that... you, we would send a letter, and we would send them to them. Okay. Or make a contact, you know, and Aaron would call around and get named, like, who's the point person? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Colleen at this company, it's right. Ed at this company, and then you would email mm -hmm. and send them direct. Mm -hmm. okay. In back in the day, you send it via, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. We All would right. get faxes sometimes. Right, yeah. I just get a fax of an RFP. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nowadays it would be probably yeah. an email. email. It would be an email. Yeah. So, you know, I would think you would want to, I mean, we've had a couple inquiries. People have seen the, you know, um, minutes. They've re read things and, you know, watched the news, the township uh, meetings, things like that. So it would be very easy. Um, for people to who've expressed interest, I know Ken's gotten a couple phone calls. I've gotten a couple phone calls. I know you got a phone mm -hmm. call. So you know, I think we should just funnel those all to Aaron and. Um, and then and Aaron know. will send it to the people who inquired. Right, and if there's others that you know of, I mean, Tom Burke may know of a handful of people. Right. Colleen probably knows a handful of people. Um, you know. Um, I would, Bob may know people, and we would just send it, you can come up with a list of 20 companies. Yeah. You know, I mean, you don't want too many, but, right. you know, and, and some will be like, eh, this isn't for me, and then, you know, but I, I, I think you'll get responses. And okay. Pen, Penbid is the main, main platform we can we, we can do that. I don't necessarily know. I mean, Penbid we use a lot for, like, roads and, right. you know, construction, construction yeah. kind of things. You may be able to put it there. At, so and then you know. is there any other like consortium yeah i mean we've we've been talking with the bucks county consortium of who they're using and so i would you know follow up with who's who and aaron has you know contacts with that and we can you know a lot of them use the same companies it's very right. common in municipalities yeah. <laughs> that's why i was asking mm -hmm. yeah yeah you had a question just so the committee knows um the fact that you're working on an rfp has hit the institutional databases. It has hit it? Yes. Okay. That's where I saw it. Okay. So the world at large knows about it. All right, so, so but we haven't really issued it. So how, how, did, how did No, well, there are periodicals who check these things and they. Yeah. Somehow, you, somehow, oh, somehow you heard that we were thinking about it. There was an article in the database that you're thinking about again with oh. the issuing one. So well, that went out was that a couple months ago. What, what, fin, uh, I don't think it's hit fin fin searches. So you won't have any problem getting your RFPs, I'm sure. Okay, yeah. good, good. I'm sorry. And, and Mr. Kirk, your first name again was? Kevin. Kevin, that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. But thank you for that. Uh, okay. So, um, so I ran the top of my head. No particular order is um, uh, maybe any. You know, Vanguard might be something we want to consider sending it to. Um, PFM. If M are now going to be bank corp. Right, I saw that, but do we, should we active? I mean, well, they're retaining investment advisory separately from that. A court, thank you for sending that. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know if that investment advisory that they're retaining is for pension <coughs> accounts or if it's more related to like you know the bond advisory. <coughs> I don't know. So we'd have to digest that a little more. Well, sure. you, you talked to Jamie, and Jamie kind of led us to believe that. PFM that we know, PFM and Jamie, so the bond From consulting the bond stays the same, okay. but like the pension advisory, Goes that they do court. asset manage is going to be, right, Ken? Yes. It's going to go to bank work. Okay. I don't know, you know, I don't know if Plug it's it. too big, Plug it and all yeah. that. Right, right. They're going right. to go there. Okay. 
So, so I mean, there are a couple, yeah. there are a couple of municipalities in the area. They had them. Uh, Joe and I saw them do a nice presentation uh, to uh, Warminster. So that would be one. I think we should add to the list. Uh, we, we're certainly going to send it to Deb Breed, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what about PMRS? How does that? Does, did they respond? Because I know, I, I know, there's a listing <laughs> of um, municipalities that use them. That's a sec isn't that? I'm going to turn it off. That's I, is it, are they under Peacers, though? Because I think they're part of Peacers. No, the Peacers no. are Peacers are separate. So that's is completely its separate. Own, I think it's its own it's, it's entity. An entity it's though. its own entity. Right. I, think, I, think the, I, I think the township would have to join, join Pennsylvania Municipal Retirement yeah. Systems. Yeah, which, yeah. They're not, they're not. So, so we have to join it. So, but, but we certainly should consider it. Sure. I mean, have to or, see or, what the or, terms or of it should, is. We should. I don't know. I mean, I, I, mean, I'm not, that, I'm not I don't necessarily know the police would. I mean, that changes the plans completely. I don't know. <laughs> No, as mine are saying that that's like a separate entity organization on itself that doesn't necessarily go out and solicit other outside employment. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I have a listing. I went to their website and they had a listing of all yeah. of the people in Bucks County, of these municipalities in Bucks County that have them. The mm -hmm. Bad Police are there and the township, Buckingham Police and Township, Newtown Police and Township, Yardley Police they and Township. Have their own plan, though. Like, we have our own right. plan. They're part of a, right. they're like part a, of a group plan. Oh, it's, 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 like it's a, a defined plan. But that's yeah. the best way I could describe it. Yes. I mean, they're they're a group plan. Right. Oh, it's a group so plan as opposed to an individual so plan. So my guess is, is somewhere yeah. along the line, the they possibly when they formed their pension, they decided instead of having their yeah. own plan, yeah. they went to PMRS. Right. Yeah. I, think yeah. I think it'd be the same thing with Peasers too, in Pennsylvania <clears throat> public employment. Right, right. Yeah, my, my wife's a member of Peasers, but I, I wasn't, I, I'm not familiar obviously with them. So, so that would basically, that's, that's its own plan. You'd actually have to literally join the plan. They don't just manage it. I don't, yeah. Well, I can yeah. research, I'll research it. Okay. I'm just saying that that would replace the work that you guys are working on that we're all doing. Yeah, you may right. lose yeah. autonomy. Yeah, yeah. So we'll check into it. Because yeah, right. I mean, I'm not saying we should do it. I say it would leave me a logical question. I think we need to That's make a conscious permit. decision yeah. to say we considered them and decided right. not to do them because but that would right. completely change the benefit structure right. and everything like right. that. And that too. could be the reason why we decide not to do not it. To do yeah, it. we'll research it as part. I think as part of. The but I don't think they're going to quote you as as being an advisor in right. that regard. Right. Right. I mean, I'm just making this up. Yeah. I, I don't know if they're if they're like the world's you know uh, next thing that's best this thing that's sliced bread in terms of pension plans, low cost, buy. I don't know anything about it. So. Um, well, yeah, you don't necessarily want to hand it over to. Them. Right. Well, again, I think I think it's right. I think on but behalf it, of the taxpayers to and then the research. employees, we I don't think we should. Agree. Yeah. So anyway, so that's a question to be asked and answered. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not looking to create additional work. I'm just, I mean, it's, it's given the list of people, it would be almost uh, irresponsible for us not at least to right. find out. Right. Um, okay. Um, hey, Ed. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering um, where this process is with the Board of Supervisors. Um, our RFP says we're going to go out on July 20th. Are we okay. still on schedule? I, yeah, no, we're not. Okay. Because um, I just talked to the solicitor's office. Um, assuming you, you this committee um, likes what they see and you don't have any other major changes, this would go to the solicitor tomorrow, and he indicated the Board of Supervisors needs to authorize the RFP to be placed. Mm -hmm. So that will be take place on the 20th at their meeting, assuming they're okay with, you know, putting it out on the street, so to speak. So that, so these dates again have to change to reflect that. So the earliest we would put it out would be the 21st. Right. Okay. But it's still, yeah. the July meeting is still good. Yeah, we would go to the July meeting and then it's gonna to go to the board. I'm hoping they're gonna authorize it. You've got two people here. I'm 90 and Barbara had said she'd like to see something. So I think we're doing that. I don't necessarily know that they would, you know, and I want to get it to Garton because he'll he want to weigh in and yeah. he may, unless he has major, you know, changes. And since we followed the 
RFPs from three or four other municipalities, he, which he looked at and recommended, right. I think we're on the right track. So I'm not too worried about that, but okay. you know, so instead of the 20 going out on the 20th, it would go out probably the 21st. Okay. You know, but I think you can look to see what other companies. Okay, I should have, I had just in, in terms of RFP, I had a, a question for everyone, but and, and, and maybe an inconsistency in terms of RFP. RFP. On page five, it says the firm must have at least 10 years of working experience in direct pension and consulting investment, blah, blah, blah. So we basically have two time requirements in there. We have one for managing investments, and we have another one for um, working with municipalities. So working with municipalities, we have 10 years, but in the, in the criteria we had on page six, we have uh, 20 years experience in managing pension plans. So my personal thinking is, I think I would prefer 20 years because I would like somebody to have uh, lived through the um, last financial crisis and that's not more than 10 years ago, but that's my own personal opinion. So that's the one final edit. So I want to hear Colleen's opinion on it. 20, 20 is a years. long time. I think we brought that up and, yeah. and tweaked the language like up to at least or up to maybe remember we tweaked the language i thought yeah i think at the time i even thought 20 was a long time okay but i'd have to go back and look i don't have my i have an old older draft that i didn't make well no, i know we've gone back and forth because right right now we have it we have two different numbers of two different points so i, I want to get the issue resolved once and for all so yeah. on your evaluation criteria page six it's you 20. have experience in public pension plans at least 10 years or more municipal pension clients and at least 10 years more experience providing similar pension services in PA municipal government. And then you drop down into investment experience. You have at least 20 years experience in yeah, that's, managing that's, pension. Right. That's what I was referring to. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. So we want to make sure, do you want them all 10? You want them all? So Colleen, what's your thoughts about why you think 10, 10 is, 20 is too long? Uh, I have 20 years this year. Not that it's about me. But I have a good amount of experience right. and I'm just hitting 20 years. Right. I just but wonder I think, I think that you're not you an organization, not necessarily an investment advisor, right. but an organization that has 20 years. Well, then, yeah, then clarify that. Well, well, so it seems like if that. I'm a member of a team, right? Right. So my, I have a team member with 30 years. Right. So we would so now, I, yeah, because So, of, yeah, actually, I think that's a really good point. So, do we want to say an organization with 20 yeah, years? Yeah, I would clarify it if that's what we're looking well, for. Well, then, what do you think? Do you think that's reasonable? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so can, can we make those two, that, that one edit? So basically on page five. It says staff slash professional reputation. See that at the top of that? Oh, I'm sorry, what page are you? Page, are you looking oh, at yeah, yeah, page six on the yeah, table? Page six, right, right. Sort of the title of that section. Right, right. So that's staff slash organization. Right, right? so that, that makes it. That has it there, but then, then if you go back to page five, it says on item two, it mm -hmm. says 10 years. And that's the firm must have at least so yeah. maybe we change that to have the firm most at least 20 to make it consistent? Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you're going to go with 20 on here on page six and we're saying the organization, I think that makes sense. Right. Okay. So we're talking about B2 on page five? Yes. That's right. Yeah. B2 okay. we changed to 20 years and then I guess it's okay. In the yeah. So that would be I mean, the, the individual advisor people, can have less, right. but we want an organization that's been around. Right. Right. Yep. And you may have an organization that you know, people jump ship and form their own groups all yeah. the time. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I right. mean, that's, you run the risk of eliminating people because it, say there was consolidation or like uh, someone spun off and they, you know, the spin off had, has seven years. That organization now is only seven years old, but right. the people might not. The organization has 15 years. Right. Right. Can I ask right. Mr. Right. Mr. 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 Yeah. his perspective on this? Yeah, I agree with, with what Colleen said. Um, say being you often have Consolidations, where you have people split off and start a new firm, that happens all the time. Yeah. So, so what you have? They might have the experience. They might have thirty years experience, but they might only have five years experience mm -hmm. as, as a new firm. organization or right. whatever. Uh, so maybe maybe to keep it easy, I think the we, emphasis has to be on the experience. Right. Say individual or organizational. Maybe Could individual slash. Could be yeah, individual power. slash. Maybe sit, let me have it on the on the uh, the the. Maybe it's basically the same wording we have on the evaluation staff criteria. Slash Investment experience. Right. Maybe just do that way because it, uh, mm -hmm. that'll cover it. Mm -hmm. 
But the RFPs for an investment manager, correct? Not correct. for an administrator. Correct. But, well, but it's uh, for, for, yeah, for a firm. I mean, we, yeah. Right. right. Sure. Right. So what is the yeah, we, we don't went, went to somebody started five years ago, you know, just out of college. And, <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> or a Carl Cowling's daughter, we probably don't want her to do it. So, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> Jen's daughter. <laughs> Uh, all right. So anyway, all right, so, so we're at ten, or are we at twenty? I, I think we're at twenty with the with the added language, the organization. I think right. Is it organization or is it a combination of experience and organization together? Right. Could you do that? I think either or. If there's the individuals that have have you know at least longevity, years. and they spun off to a new industry, a new company, right. that's fine. Or if an organization itself has been around for right. For so, so 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 thank you. Says investment. Or. In the evaluation criteria, it says investment expertise slash quality of staff slash professional relations, <laughs> at least 20 years experience in managing pension plans. So that kind of covers the gambit, that, but that, yeah, we we're obviously emphasizing. Are they re going to read it the way we're reading it? Right. Um, uh, managing pension assets, right? Not pension plans. Pension, pension assets. assets. Yeah, actually, that's that a better. good catch, too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so you that one. Well, you bring your salary. Well, we may. Is it managing assets and or assets. staffing? I mean, I'm just assets. More managing years. pension assets. I'm what. trying to clean off of what Colleen said. Well, how is Aaron written it? How you put it, Colleen, that you know, you have someone who may have been with a company and the firm collapsed, but they roll over. Yeah. And maybe they're only seven or eight, ten years in, but they have all that yeah. experience. How do you capture that in that 20 years? Right. And that's, I guess, that's my what I keep going back to. Is it a combination of experience and/or managing? Uh, to me, the person who assets. is assigned to manage this this plan, right, needs to have at least twenty years' experience. They could be with a firm that's only been around for five years because they right. started a new firm, right? right? But the person who is working with our account should have at least twenty years' experience. Or at least one of the people. At least right one now. of the people on that team, right. which yeah, is usually right. the lead advisor. Right. 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 So, so we would want representation. The way I to capture that is I've restated the firm staff must have at least 20 collective years of working experience in direct investment. So collective would be adding. Collective would be adding that. Adding. Yeah, they could yeah. be yeah. check five. And yeah. 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 I wouldn't want that. Okay. Sorry, I say. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. But read again what you wrote. Firm staff must have at least 20 collective years of working experience in direct investment. So you just eliminate collective. Yeah, collective is probably not good. If you pull that out. I don't want collective. So say it again, the firm. The firm staff must have at least 20 years of working experience in direct investment consulting services management, pension administration within a strict regulatory field. Yeah. See, we're talking is about a firm or staff? Firm, <laughs> firm slash staff. Is that capture? We should put so. more, I think. You think the slash would be clear enough for people to know it? It could be either or. Yes, either okay. or. You okay. want the other yes. to be on investments, not administration, because there are plan administrators. Right. right. People who invest. Right. Yes. So. Okay. Right. Uh, so, in, so you got, you, Aaron, you have that, that it's, it's investments, right? Not right. plans. Because we have that in the evaluation criteria, too. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so are we good? And I have a minor one. Uh, go ahead, Bob. Page seven. Um, we talk about uh, number four at the top. It says the township expects to award consulting services around October 2021. And yet our chart below it says November 16th. Yep. So maybe yep. we could just change October to November. Yep. Yep. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. So one thing I found a little difficult <clears throat> with the draft was the changes and corrections weren't highlighted. So it was difficult for me to uh, proofread it. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, I, so I, I, you know, I, I had print out for my, I read from my notes from the last time. Right. Where I re remember the So it's difficult for me just at this minute, okay. you know, to have to check all the items. Uh, and but you can use the Okay. Uh, on the RFP, going once, going twice, 
Are you happy it's being proofread by the charter plan? Uh, well, I, I think I think we're okay. going to have to proofread it. Uh, yeah, yeah, so Aaron, at, at the end of the meeting, you just send that to everybody. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll see if there's one list. Go ahead. And we'll, we'll cut it off by Friday. We'll double check. So all, all, um, to see if they'll do this. Aaron, if you could just say all, all respond, all, all feedback by Friday. Okay. Let's that gets time in. Friday morning. Friday morning. Actually, yeah. Because it's got to go in the board's packet by noon. Mm -hmm. So it's Thursday closing business. Yeah. Yeah. Closing. There you go. There you go. Uh, okay. All right. So don't dare up thing. Um, but then we actually talk about next steps, right? Oh no, we haven't. No, we haven't talked about next steps. So um, <clears throat> just in terms of literally how we're going to run the railroad, because I know we talked about this last time, and so. Um, all right, so we're going to, Thank you. Um, we're getting all the responses. Okay, Kevin, what do you think about the timeline? Is this a reasonable timeline? How long? How long? Well, basically, we're, we're issuing the RFP the 20th of this month, and we're asking for responses back by the 20th of next month. Is that reasonable? Actually, it'll be the 21st. 21st of next month. Um, um, I think it's typically, yeah, I think that'll be okay. Okay. Even with summer, is that an issue? I don't think that'll be an issue. I mean, it depends on how long the RFP is. How right, right, right. It is, right, 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 right. But we tried to simplify it. Okay, good. Um, but so, but if somebody had trouble, would they contact us and say we need a little yeah. more time? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. All right. So we basically get it by uh, the middle of August, and mm -hmm. so then between the middle of August. And uh, so we basically have three weeks for our subcommittee made up of Jen, Nancy, me, Tom, Colleen, and Aaron, and anybody else who wants to join us, to review the um, review the RPs and to score them using our scoring criteria. And then we're going to narrow it down to how many should we narrow it down to five? Any thoughts? To, to, to then what? Bring them to the board? To, to, to bring them to the, no, to bring them to the, to this, the committee, committee. this committee. Yeah. This committee. Mm -hmm. Well, let's say we have 20. Let's say we have 20. 20 to 50, or, you know, say 20 to 50. I mean, I think we probably want to narrow it down to five because we'd only interview five. What do you think mm -hmm. realistically we'll get, Stephanie? We can't really tell. tell. The ones that yeah. have recently bid have been kind of hunting someone they already had in mind and so there hasn't been a great bit yeah. of open. knowledge on the open. Right. Well let, let, let's put it this way. If if we only get three, then then there's not a lot of work to do. We'll, we'll just have them come in and yeah. we'll interview them yeah. all. I think we should have a goal of three to five to bring to this committee. Is the goal with one recommendation to the board of supervisors from our committee? Uh, so well that, that, that's that's a good question. So let's so 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 so, 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 we, so we're we're good at we're gonna. I mean, I, I think I think up to five. For you know, hopefully we'll get more than five, and I think up to five for interviews. I know up to five to then discuss with the pack, the pack, mm -hmm. and then we'll knock around the pack, and we'll decide. The pack will then decide collectively who we want to have come in for an interview. With the board, with the full board. But no, 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 with 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 us. The, with us. So then the this organization, you know, these organization would come in and uh, us we collectively would interview them. Well, actually, no, no, it would just be the, the subcommittee, but anyone else who would join. And then um, and then we would um, then we would um, then decide what we want to recommend. So to your question. Do we recommend if we get three? Do we recommend three, or do we? I, mean, I, I would think. What would the might, board want to say? What I would, would you would like to say? If there's as, somebody as who a, clearly is the front runner, then one recommendation, and then maybe a the other close, the other two, like maybe two others that you. Maybe, maybe we just maybe we just rank them. And actually, I think we talked well, about we maybe we rank them and just yeah, explain top, top three and explain it and explain if something that's explain yeah in, in a summary form. Is this is why we chose number one? 
Uh, this is good things and bad things about number one. Actually, you have positive and negatives, and then conclusion. Right. Yeah, so maybe it's just, it's just basically that. Just it's double. basically yeah. positive, negative, and conclusion mm -hmm. for each of the each of the. Right. Right. And then it would be in rank order. Right. And then we would present it to the board of supervisors, mm -hmm. and then they would vote. Right. So they could decide, you know what, we want number two or number no. three. No, no. Uh, the board of supervisors may, I mean, I think you have to give the board of supervisors the proposals. That's what I'm talking about. Right, they have to have your summary, and then the board of supervisors I thought, that, I thought that's exactly what I said. Well, but the, you left out the part where the board would interview they have the oh, the, option. Oh, the, oh, oh, the officer would have the option. They're pulling something away that is ultimately the Board of Supervisors' decision. They should So you want to have the option to interview them? If they want the option to interview yeah, prior, that's fine. then they would they would interview yeah, that's the fine. consultant. So they oh. interview twice, once by the PAC Just maybe. kind of like you did for engineering and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah. We also have the to PAC's going to have to wait, wing down and, and everything who's who, and then Right. The board ultimately, the board is going to be the one engaging right. the company. Right. All right. So, we, so basically, the PAC would interview. We'd come up with the recommendations, positive, negative conclusions. We present it to the present to the um, board of supervisors, and then the board of supervisors would then decide whether they want to whether they want to go with our recommendation or whether they'd like to interview. And then decide on their own. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, they still may go with your. They may just want to meet the company. That, oh yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm yeah. okay with it. Yeah. So yeah. is that says what we're saying, right? I think it also would like to see include who they have, who some of the clients are, their client yeah. list. Yeah, right, right. I think that's yeah. really helpful. Yeah, that's yeah. So we yeah, that's we, we, we can work on. Part of it. Right. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. We can we can we can work on our summary. Exactly. As as we so that's one of the things we we'll think about as we're looking at these things and interviewing like what's pertinent that we would want right. to put in a summary. An executive yeah. summary. So right. that puts our timeline. We have a four-day window that we're going to be interviewing. No, I think we. I think we didn't extend that. So hopefully, we extend that. Yeah, nine six ten ten. ten. I have nine ten. All right, process. so I didn't. I didn't capture that ten ten. It's in the. Yes, yeah, it's in the. It's in the it's okay, summary. Yeah. This right. is my my working draft, so right. I apologize. Okay. Uh, so 10, 10, we come up with what we would say, maybe probably three with an executive summary we'll bring to the board. And right. then I have 11, 16 at the board. Is that when we would present it to the board at 11, 16 or before that? Watch this, good point. So I would think before that. Well, voting on the 16th. Oh, can you no. have Joe Why don't you uh, make your recommendation after PAC 10, 10 to the board of supervisors and that gives them a month to bring in whoever they want to see or review our recommendation. Right. So is that a board meeting that night? Hi, Joe. Hi. Hi, Joe. Hey, Joe. Sorry I'm late. No, it gives them more than a month, Colleen. From 1010, if we make our recommendation. We could do that in a memo. We... Yes, you can do it in a memo. And right. then I would share everything with okay. the board. And then what if memo? they. You're going to take your summaries and everything in the. the oh yeah, we'll, yeah we'll, 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 we'll put yeah we'll put it in in, in a document. Right. Yeah. I don't know if it's a memo or it's a PowerPoint it's, or something. I would say memo. Okay. Be fine. So, and, and then it would go to the board. How would you be arranging the, or when would you be arranging the interviews with the subcommittee and the five shortlisted? Would that have to be special meetings or? Would, how you, how would that? Be? I guess yeah. I guess that would have to be special meetings, right? Well, um. You have you can't have more than your majority. So, how many people do you do you have? Well, we have we have we have. We have um, well, it can't, it can't. I mean, we don't have any. No, because then they have to be advertised. Well, yes, because you have one, two, three. You have three. There's three, three members. members. You have three committee members. So you're keeping it under four. So you don't want to violate the sunshine law. Right. So you have three, which keeps you from violating the sunshine law. Right. To the supervisors keeps them from violating the sunshine. Yeah, it's, 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 so, yeah, yeah, it, so, you know, so because I, you could interview the companies during 
you know, I know you work and everything like that, and these guys are retired. So, mm -hmm. but let's say she's going to take a morning and, right. you know, you could do it at Stagger nine in the morning, the nine, nine thirty, ten o'clock. Or zoom in. Or zoom, zoom in. Yeah. yeah. I can, you know, but typically that's what you would do. Okay, so we're, make we're, it all we're like, in, well, like a marathon day for us. Yeah. yeah. Have them come in one after yeah. the other. Well, we can either have a marathon day or depending on schedules. Right. Which, you know, it, we can, no we, or we can have it staggered over a couple of days. Right. Do you think half an hour per applicant would be uh, I, I, I would leave an hour, personally. Uh, yeah, I would leave an hour and it's, it's less than. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you think about the meetings we've had with Deb Brady. It's, uh, you know, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty big decision. I, I, would, I wouldn't do it half. Yeah, half hour is not enough. An hour is probably the top end of what it would, what we would, because right. there's a lot of material they're giving us right. to mm -hmm. digest, right? And, right. So but then can, and things, come in with the questions based on that, right? right. Material. So, and if there's anything, you can always have them send in yeah. information. Right. Yeah, you probably could probably do it in a half hour to forty-five. Right, forty-five. Right. So I think forty-five is a good number. I think. Always. Well, I think, we, I think we have a schedule ten for an hour, and maybe right. you know, if we Down end a little the, early, I mean, it just because you, you know, we don't know. I would, hate to, I would hate to have somebody come from wherever they come in and then run out of time. Agreed. Better to send them home early. Mm -hmm. um, okay. All right. So we're we're good on that. So. Um, so between that, so between ten ten, last day of interviews, essentially, then we have three on the short list. We draft a memo with the executive summer to the board. <clears throat> they have that in plenty of time. Well, so actually, when, when's our, when's our, so, so we're, we're interviewing them, and then when's our, when's our, when's our PAC meeting for um, that month? Because we, we have to discuss it at that PAC meeting. Right. So I just think it's a little too tight for the, I have the board awarding an applicant on November 16th. I don't think that's happened then. So our, well, hold it. Our PAC meeting is, oops. Our PAC meeting is September 13th. I thought, no, it's 11th. And then right? October, October 11th. 11th, which is after, you know. Yeah, so, so all right, so we're not going to have them, we're not going to be done interviewing them until the 10th, the 10th of um, October. That's so one day before the meeting. Right, right one day before. The, so hopefully, what we do is we would front and load it, we get most of it done. Yeah. No, yeah, September. Part. That's what I'm yeah, thinking. Right. But then, but, but we have basically until the 10th of, mm -hmm. of um, October to could, finish it if we need mm -hmm. to. Could we start a, like a shared document, a spreadsheet, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Quick, but it, maybe uh, fills in the blank for some of that executive information, right? That summarizes it. Yeah. I, I, I think I think once we start getting the submissions in. We can, yeah, I don't think we have to decide literally right now, but I agree. We have to work on the format of the right. summary. Um, the, so, point, the point system, is that not on Excel already? Excel? Um, no. Uh, I can't remember if I put it. We certainly put it in Excel. We certainly put it in Excel. I can't remember if I put it in Excel. Right. I put it in Word. But we certainly put it in Excel. Because right. I'm thinking we could kind of work on that. Work on that. As a template. And then maybe a couple more points, and then we could start to see the picture. Mm -hmm. Right, and then we said, yeah. So I, I, I think what's going to happen is it's going to be like we did, you know, done before. Is that uh, we're going to have to be working between meetings offline. Mm -hmm. So you have a list of criteria and you're assigned points to each one of those. Yeah, that's it, it's, that's in the RFP. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll be in the RFP. Um. Okay, so um. So we're going to have the scoring for each of them, right? Each of the uh, submissions, and then we're going to um, decide on the um, um, who the people are going to interview, and then we'll, after we interview them, uh, it'll still be the same scoring, but we'll be adding information we learned during the interviews, and then we'll, that'll be part of the executive summary, the positive, negative, and conclusion, and then at the on the um, October 11th, we would um, review at this meeting what the 
latest draft is, right? So then everyone in the committee would have a chance to opine on the draft. And then when is it, when is the board supervisors meeting after that? November 16th. No, November 16th. That's the next one. Mm -hmm. The board meeting October 19th. October 19th. October 19th. So so um, so I'm just gonna I would I, mean, I, I would think that we would want to um, uh, at least give the board of supervisors an update maybe on the nineteenth. Yes, October nineteenth. Yeah. We may have the summary ready with three right. recommendations by the 19th. Right. Or at least give a status mm -hmm. saying and, and, and basically say, you know, this is kind of where we are, this is what we did. Mm -hmm. Shortly we'll be issuing you a memo that you'll be able to vote on, that you'll have a couple weeks to review and vote on blah, blah, blah. But we're going to delete the details in our next two meetings. I think you're on the right track. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I think the quantity is the big question mark. Yeah, yeah, it's all kind of it's just going to depend on how many you get in and yeah. how and how good Kevin's presentation is. If he knocks everybody out of the bar, then this might be relatively <laughs> easy. I guarantee you, it will be unconventional. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, there'll be food. Just kidding. Um, uh, all right. So, all right. So, so. I'm going to say. That's uh, strike different. Yeah. Um, okay. So, um, okay. So, I, I think so. Um, I, I, Stephanie, you and Aaron have hopefully captured most of this. Mm -hmm. And then if you guys could send this out to everyone here and we can ponder it and edit it in preparation for the next meeting in terms of running up the timeline and what we got to do by when. Um, I think I think you're fine. I, I, I think we're pretty are, close. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of when you, how many you get in, and right. how quickly you're able to go through them. And right. I think you know the cream's going to rise to the top. Right. It's really pretty straightforward. Right. Um, and we do have to send a dev, give her a chance to. Oh, absolutely. Right. Right. Respond Absolutely. as the incumbent. Yeah, Aaron right. will do that, or I guess we'll, we'll make sure. I, yeah. I think it's best if they all go out from one point. Correct. Um, none of the committee should be sending um, our cards directly to no. any no. Per perspective. Yeah, yeah we're exactly. None of us are involved. Oh, so yeah, yeah, it all comes through the yeah. township. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Key. Just somewhere to inquire. We send them to you. To you yep. Or Aaron. Send them to yes. you or Aaron. Yep. If mm -hmm. you you know at a cocktail yep. party and you're talking to somebody and they're like, oh, I heard you're in jail. Please contact our office. Do not, you know, you know okay. <laughs> <laughs> had me there. <laughs> they knew that. <laughs> or wherever you're at the beach, you're at the, you know, pool, you're at the grocery store, right, Bob? You know, you're at Lowe's. <laughs> you know, you never know who you're going to run into where. So right. just, you know, don't go, oh, yeah, I'll get you a copy of that. No, no, that all goes through. You take. You know, Aaron and I ran into stuff. I ran into somebody. I got their card. Here it is. Send it out from there. That's the more appropriate way to handle that. All right. So, so um, for the all right. So, so Stephanie and Aaron who sent up this timeline. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can mock up a um, a uh, an executive summary report. What we the memo, whatever we're gonna do. You know that we can talk about next month. I'll send it out to everyone. We can talk about next month, and then we got uh, we even have the, next, the September meeting to tweak it. Um, and um, and then we're good, right? Mm -hmm. And I just have one more question. Sure. Could, could you just review the timetable for me, the opening and the closing? So we start at seven twenty-one. And when do we close at August 21st? August 13th. Yeah, but the 13th is in the, the 13th. Document. That's in the document. I don't think we changed it. Okay. Right. Seven. You have the you have the one that Aaron, Aaron he sent up. Uh, yeah, I have that. Okay. Yep. 20. And then the next item says August 16th. Right. On mine. So you really can't pre-screen them if they're not due to the 20. But they're doing the 13th. Right. Oh, the 13th. Right. So they'll be right before that. So that, that's a couple thought, days later. I thought we were going to give them a month. So we're giving them three weeks to put it together. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
right? And, and if it bleeds, if it bleeds over, then then so w will we accept any that don't meet the deadline, Stephanie? Can we? No, <clears throat> we can't. No. So we, yeah. we we just I said, mean, well, we accept request requests yeah. for extensions, and we said yes. So we'll well, we if you're going to accept if you're going to accept them, how far out? I right. mean, you know, if somebody calls up and uh, if someone calls on the 12th and says, oh, you know, I've really been working on this, but I I need two more weeks. Huh? You know, if they had it from the if they've had it since the 21st, 22nd of July, they need to let us. I think. You know that has to be part of it. They need to let us know. We we can't be getting calls that. I agree. I, 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 what about if we give a one week extension if people ask? Yeah, right. I mean that's gonna thirteenth. That takes you out of your. I mean. Well, it does. It bleeds. It, it bleeds into it the next phase. Into the but, next but phase. Hopefully we, but hopefully we will have to. I mean, you know, the worst thing is is that this gets pushed and the board doesn't award a successful applicant until the December meeting. Right. That's the worst case scenario. Right. Or further. Or, or further. I mean, the board. You know they could extend they, could, they could reject them all and right. say start over right right but well, we prefer to do it before end of year right oh absolutely so, because yeah. i mean one of the things that we i mean if we did it in november which colleen talks about um is we got to move all that money and everything mm -hmm. right. that you know assuming that dk breedy is no longer the advisor we have to set up all that money has to move whoever's gonna you know not only the investment side but the administration side of it you know we have pensioners that are expecting you know deposits the first of january um they're going to raise you know what if that pension money and then their account on a timely basis right. well but if and, there's any, if there's any risk of that then we'll just delay the implementation right yeah but you know that's that all has to work very carefully and you know yeah we need to be mindful at the end of the day of the retirees. Of course, yeah, payments. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So. Yeah. <laughs> we, we don't have anything. We don't have anything. Just a summary of disclosure I mean, the So we, we don't have anything in here that of when literally transferring the assets. That's not my timeline. No. That so therefore, be, that's right. That's open. And I mean, it's I open, think. Which is I, good. Yeah, and that's open. I think once the board, whenever the board of supervisors approves it, whether it's November or December, then it all comes in house, and it's all handled administratively. Right. And you guys are kind of right. done. We right. will Ken's office, myself. We will handle working with whoever the new yeah, advisor. Yeah, because they could take. They could take. Yeah. You know, so there's so all, yeah, all the concerns you said about people missing paychecks. That's not going to happen because you guys can run it. Yeah, we'll take okay. care of that. I mean, I don't think you have to worry about it. If we have to if we have to push it and they say, oh, we've got to end of year reporting, et cetera, we'd rather yeah. you know move, move it in the, first the middle. Yeah, move it in the first, as long as, the first month or so. Yeah. We can do that too. I mean. Yeah. And we'll let our brain go. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, mean, I personally that's prefer. My, we, we those are always it. my concerns. Yes, I prefer know? we keep it to quarters. So, for example, if we can't if we can't get things transferred by December thirty first, mm -hmm. we do it March thirty first, just to keep the reporting. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and that's fine. Ed, my my question. I think the uh, November sixteenth is a good day. My only question was, if you get the proposal on seven twenty one. And you're already anticipating doing an extension. Uh, it is three in weeks. In eight, less than three weeks. Just give them a month. Bob, are you saying that just give it a month and yeah, give go them a from month and a hard deadline. give them a month and a hard deadline versus yeah, and do a hard three deadline. Weeks, do yeah. three weeks because then you have, still have almost a month and a half to review. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah, I think it's good. I agree. I think that's just simplifies then not having to debate or argue. Yep. Yep. Just give it the month then. So move to twenty? Twenty twenty twenty. Twenty first, I guess. Yeah. I don't know what day of the week that is. Is it a weekend? Uh, no, it's Wednesday. Okay. Or no, I don't know. Um seventeenth okay. is a Tuesday. The twenty first the twentieth is a Saturday. The twentieth. The twentieth is a Friday. The 20th. So we yeah. just do the twentieth. Do the twenty. Eight and that's it. Mm hmm Hard deadline. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you guys can start your review. Um, we can even, I mean, if people submit in early, yeah, we can start, we can start reviewing yeah. early. Yeah, right. yeah, so can, yeah they're in. You can I would say we're early. having everything go back to Aaron. Yeah, and just and have, start to have Aaron, Aaron share it back right. out as soon yeah. as he gets them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people yeah. can. I mean, if they're in, it goes to the college application on Friday night. night on no early, you know. Something might have early a decision. Something may have a big yeah, decision. Right? Might get it might be that early decision. Yeah. You never know. Right. Uh, since we changed that, uh, I'm looking at the uh, 
the boxes here since we changed that date to the 20th, uh, moving down to next the RFP tree screen, do we want to change that date? Right. Do we want to bump that yeah, up? Yeah, that's going to be the 20th. Well, that's what I was talking right. about. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Calendar. I figured you were going to change that. That's what I was referring to. Mm -hmm. So you you could start on the twenty third, basically. Right. Right. So then my last question really is on the procedure. Am I hearing that if I get my proposal in early, you'll you'll you will open it before the other proposals come in. So you know what my number is before the others have to respond. Is that okay? Typically you try to open them all together. You don't usually when you're doing an RFP or we yeah. always oh, yeah, right. sealed right. bid. Right. Sealed right. bid. It's kind of like a sealed bid. Okay. All right. Because it's not fair because then yeah. I'm gonna pick on Colleen for a minute. She could you don't want to get into oh, that. This, this company, you know, like, oh, wait a minute, he's already right. Bob's proposals way high so he's going to be out so and you just happen to be talking to somebody else right. now all of a sudden they know yeah i mean i'm fine with aaron region. holding them all until yeah, yeah no the 20, and, yeah and then releasing them on the 20 and you yep. doing that okay it just it, it enhances your credibility that you're no, absolutely Bob. Yeah. Yeah. thank you Bob. Good, goodbye Bob. Good luck. okay that's just a given yep okay uh anything else to the process. Um, all right, so we'll we'll pick this up next month and fine tune it. Any any if we have to fine tune anything? No, it needs to go no. forward. This is going to be we're going to. You have till the end of Thursday to give me any revisions. Yeah. I'm sorry. Any, oh no 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 no, no 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 no! I'm talking about what we just talked about earlier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, guys. That, that the RFP is already done. I'm just talking about our when we were when we were talking about the next steps and stuff like that. Yeah. That okay. part. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All that detail <laughs> and operational stuff. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. Can I just mention one thing, Aaron? On the very first page, I've had some time to stare at this. Uh, the phone number at the very bottom. I think there's a typo. Oh, yeah. Five eight. Mm -hmm. Five eight four. <laughs> wow, you're good. That's only because there's been a lot of topics that I don't quite comprehend. Everything, so <laughs> you have some time to look at other things. <laughs> you need to have a bill on your cell phone number. Yeah. That's fun. Okay. All right. So the next step. So we get the RFP timeline. That's all settled by Thursday evening, right? We talk. We talk. We laid out a general operational timeline that. You guys are capture that they're going to send out. We're going to fine tune next month, uh, including an executive summary. And um, and we have hard deadlines, yada, yada, yada. Um, anything else for now? OK, um, moving on to the next topic, um, heavy semi and traditionally a semi annual review with Deb Greedy in August. So going forward with that? You're asking me? No, we're not. Uh, asking anybody. Just in general? Is there any I don't why see why we wouldn't. We're reviewing right. performance. Right. We have to yep. keep up as fiduciaries or, uh, you know, as, yep. as committee. Yep. Yep. Make mm -hmm. sure the board mm -hmm. is yep. Yep. apprised of where the plan is. All right. So um, do we want to do that? Zoom? Or do I think whatever, I um, would prefer Zoom just because for her. For, for her, her sake. Her. Right. Yeah, she doesn't have to fly down right. from Boston. Yeah, I agree. All right, so we'll have it Zoom. So I, I think that's just my. Well, I, I think so. Um, is it easier to us to have her Zoom into here like Bob yes. is, or for us to? Do it remotely to see that. No, yeah. no, she's going to be up there on the screen. Well, well, why couldn't we have it if we choose to do the other? Well, it depends. On the laws have changed now. We are back in person, and that's what the governor has directed. So we're all going to be in here only if the like Bob or Joe can't make it, and then she will be presenting. Literally, 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 is that prescriptive? Yeah. 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 
Yeah, we got the letter from July. Yeah, that's what the governor has issued. And so because we, the laws are no longer in, in place that allow the for restrictions. The, yeah, the restrictions. The exemption was a COVID exemption. No, 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 no. I, 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 I get that. So, for so, example, Colleen. I'm on vacation. You, no, no. She, that's, a, that's a separate well, let me, thing. Let me ask my question. So, for example, if Colleen or me at work or anybody else at work, they had a meeting and it was Zoom. You can't you can't hold meetings like you hold a department meeting or something like that. You can't. Well, that's possibly different than a that's different. governmental. That's, that's a private. Uh, that's, that's, why, that's why I'm asking so a clarifying private. question. That's the yeah. However, that's good. However, you have to be very careful with the sunshine law and things are changed just recently with Act 65, which will be bringing you forth that information at your next <laughs> meeting as well. There's a lot about what's on your agenda, adding things to your agenda last minute. We have to post, we have new postings that have to be done outside of the building, not just like we have to have a, you know, they're not just on the website like we do, but we have to post out there. Those have all been, we have a new act for, which we'll be sharing with all the boards and committees and the board will get a briefing from the solicitor on July 20th, but but if, that's I, if, 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 well. if, if, if if it's recorded, why isn't that completely recorded? No editing, no. like the there's a recent township that edited a board of supervisors <laughs> meeting, which it's we still wouldn't do. But we're, we're not. But we, there's we're still it's, it isn't possible to have a Zoom meeting. They're not allowed to have. Not people. 100. There are supposed you to be people a, in like your building. Like we are now, Colin. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, yeah. I get that right now, but I, that's I why I'm asking. It is literally impossible I to have a Zoom meeting when completely. everyone's okay. home. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. No yeah. more. Not you have to have this physical location. You have to have a physical location. People have to be able to come to the location now, yeah. and wow. they prefer the majority of your committees to be in person. Uh, obviously, a hybrid is permitted. So. We have two gentlemen who are unable um, to be here. You know, Tom. You know, we we can do that. But the idea that we're all at home anymore. Mm -mm. And I think the other item that Stephanie will say is this: other items for discussion or business. Yeah. That, that is can no longer be. No longer has be to be specific. Has to you be have specific. to decide. Yeah. If it's not, you can have it under there. You have continuing education, but you cannot yeah. just have, have a generic. You so can't have basically. Just, yeah. But when the meeting, you have to notify the uh, whoever's putting the agenda together before the meeting so that you can have it on the yeah. discussion. Mm -hmm. I was so going to bring this will... up, now we need to put it on the agenda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so basically, we eliminated that going forward. Yeah. I thought Unless you I have Mr. Garth is going to enlighten okay. everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when we went over the next meeting, we go to the next board of supervisors. July 20th. Yeah. So he'll, he'll go over it, and then we have our one of our interns putting little bullet points together for our other APC committees that are not, I mean, the ones we worry about the most obviously are like the Board of Supervisors, the Planning Commission, mm -hmm. Zoning Hearing Board, because those are all governed by some other things, yeah. DTMA, the Park Board, the EAC, we, we, your board here, and we always want you to follow the same guidelines so nobody Yeah, could. it should be consistency. Yeah, and that's what you, but in terms of bringing a topic up um, that that has to be approved. It can be done. It can be done for emergency purposes, but um, you know, we now, we now have to, so I'm gonna pick on Nancy for a minute. So let's say we're at a board meeting and Nancy brings up something that came up and she wants the board to act upon it. Um, it and it wasn't on the agenda, but the board agrees to to discuss it and address it and act on it. If they did that tomorrow morning, I have to now post a new agenda that was modified that incorporated the thing that Nancy brought up, and I have to put that on the website also, and post it out front. I have to post right. it out front. Don't and, they have to vote at the meeting to add? Yes, they have to add. They have to as vote. part of the vote. Yes, right. because it was not on the agenda. It was not on the agenda. So. Yeah, just as an example, if she brought a topic yeah. up, I can. Huh? This is all. Yeah, Garden retroactively Street. adjust the agenda. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. After the meeting, so it has to be active. So it has to be active. Everybody knows that we have adjusted the agenda. Right. We are, yeah, and now so we that we adjusted the agenda. I have to post that we adjusted the agenda after meeting. It was approved by the board. 
Is that only if a vote is taken or if it, if, it, if it was even a conversation? Well, they use the word de minimis. de minimis. So if it was de minimis, you know, whether or not, and, <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. What's going to be de minimis? You right. Know? Of course, they want the fines for it. Oh, yeah, of course not. You know, so just, like, you know, like, something came up. I mean, you know, we were we were <laughs> we were coming up with all kinds of ideas this morning. So if we have a Boy Scout proclamation at the last minute yeah. that we have to act on because we got the information. If I get it, to, like if the agenda is already set on Friday and everything, and I get it on Monday, which is 24 hours before the meeting, I have to, I could amend the agenda post it you know and be good and be good however if it came in on tuesday and we took it to the board because the boy That's, scout yeah, eagle that, scout yeah. thing was That's on friday right oh my god now well, i have, have to, to like vote. they would have to vote to yeah. say it was okay yeah. to put on the agenda and then we have to next day post it and put it on the website and everything like that That's you guys are gonna love this I know, great. I'm like, uh. so, so much for the lasting impact of the productivity improvement. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know. I believe me. I read the law and, and peace oh ads. Like, Are you kidding me? I know. I'm all in the interest of transparency. I know. Exactly. Exactly. You got it's more transparent you know. to have it online. Exactly. Well, it's all transparent. <laughs> right. I know. They can put it on the TV thing. Yeah. I'm curious. Put it yeah. on paper, and then when it's up being on online, are two different, right? And I think that's why there's an issue. Well, and I sure. think people bring things to meetings that it's not on the agenda, and the community I doesn't mean, have a chance to respond, and things get. Well, and I mean, a lot of times people don't will come to a board meeting from as visitors, right, and, and start a comment and start a what, which is fine. Yeah. And I mean, a lot of times the board will say thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Or you know can you know consensus to refer to the code department or right. the finance department or you know I mean depending on what it is that's where the is it de minimis you right. know can they you know what does someone bring and if it and if you're expending money oh no no no, no. yeah forget it oh yeah these are all new rules that are all you know okay <laughs> so to answer that question if we have a meeting in August. We will be able to zoom under special circumstances, but not as the actual meeting. Mm -hmm. That's it. Sounds like that. Yeah, we, we can't set it up as a zoom. Right. No, we can't. We set it up. But people zoom. can zoom in as an option Should, if if they right. can. But the majority of your committee, like you have today, you know, last time we because this all came in about in July, we had people in the room here welcoming. You know, if the public were right. here, you have to have someone. Here from the committee, and you have to have your committee, and they prefer it to be majority. You know, there will always be, I think, now that we have Zoom, and there was always the milk board case where people could call in on the telephone. You know, if you were on vacation, you need to call in or sick or something. I think now that, I mean, yeah, Zoom is so much easier. Yeah. Now, having a, a presentation by an outside, like a consultant or something, you could, you know, have them make the presentation but you're it. here and it works and you can well. record zoom better than the phone call yeah right? so. exactly phone call you really yeah 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 so if Bree's coming next month is uh, she scheduled yet no 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 it's no, yeah, would we be able to have i mean those would, would be able to have like her face on one thing and then her present betting on another tv screen i don't believe so i don't believe so. yeah you would see we her. Have a question. Joe, Joe has a yeah. question. Yeah. Hi, Joe. Wow. So all these screens. Uh, hi. Them. Yeah. I, in this day of technology, you know, it seems um, archaic not not to be able to zoom into a meeting. Uh, I'll give you a good example. I'm down in Florida. Okay. I have my PC there. I log in. I, I attend a meeting, and I part participate. I don't see anything wrong with that. You know, um, if I have to miss meetings because I, because I have to Zoom, I'll just miss the meeting. You know, well, Jim, Jim, I, I think the way, the way I understand what, what, what uh, Stephanie is saying is that 
you'll be the one that gets to go to Florida, and we also have, we, the rest of us have to stick here and not go to Florida because not too many people can, can still have the not too many people can be you rebuffed. Can still have yours so yours. So yeah. I think yours. So one of us is safe, but not the rest of us. So we all can't <laughs> take vacations at the same time. Yeah. yeah. And it's out, and frankly, it's out of our control. Yeah, this is coming down from the state. It's not like I made this yeah. up. It's state I know it's it's yeah. under it's under Zor Wolf's control. Thank you. And the legislature. Talk to your legislators. Yeah. Just make it clear to him. He can still you know. And I mean here's the other thing. thing. I mean, the borough and here's the other thing. The borough code is completely different from That's said. the township second class yeah. township code and probably the first class township code. Mm -hmm. And so the requirements that we're able to do by having like this kind of situation where we've got the majority here or we've got a couple people on on Zoom. Borough can't do that. Mm -hmm. We're a little luckier. Yeah, because they have requirements for. Does Joe the realize he can still? Yeah, I think people. I hope he does. You're good, Joe. You You're can good. That said. <laughs> okay, that was fun. All right, so we're good with them. So, we, so that's the last item on the agenda is um, that brief meeting in August. So did, did, does she normally schedule that, or do you guys? No, we reach out to you guys. Her, so okay. Okay. That's now that you've confirmed it, we'll reach out to her. I got Hopefully, she's available. And she, uh, she'll be, she's scheduled to send us straight, um, Ken, the, the stuff by the end of this month, traditionally? Yes. yes. Well, yes. Yeah, so, do we, if we did August, it would be the end of August. I'm going to get. No, she'll get, she'll get. Yeah, it'll be June quarter. Yeah, quarter, yeah, yeah, by quarter. the end of July. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. She'll have it. She'll, she'll have it, and we have a couple, we like a 10 days or so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? And yes, one one last thing. Um, in the um, financials, uh, in a, in a, in the past, I recalled it was a sensitivity test where it looked at the disc the current discount rate versus one percent higher and one percent lower, and what right. the impact would be. I don't recall seeing that in the latest set of financials is that it was, an it was, oversight it was, or it was there it was there it was there it was there 100 because i i went through i went through the financials and i cheated okay. all that data into mm -hmm. my excel spreadsheet and updated the charts okay 100 percent in there thank you yep okay um all right so just a reminder aaron will be sending by version, get back to Aaron by the end of uh, Thursday. Thursday. And then uh, you'll be sending, one of you guys will be sending out a, um, uh, you know, what we discussed in terms of timelines. You send that, so we'll, then we'll try to get, um, that'll just be for us to view and, and we're mm -hmm. fine tune next month. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else? Kevin? Kevin? Uh, two quick questions. You don't have a consultant, right, that you're working with? No. Okay. And Deb Breed uh, is your advisor. You've issued an, you're going to be issuing an RFP. And I don't know if you can answer this or not, but what's, what's the reason uh, you're issuing one? No because it's been, how long has it been set since we had? Uh, 20 years. 20, 20 years. years. So just good stewardship. Then. Okay. I didn't know if there was a specific. No, no just okay. stewardship. All right. Thank you. Uh, okay, motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.